We stumbled upon this one. Mike, John, and I were doing our usual guys weekend away when we found it. Some of the locals we met on a badly planned trip to find a new kayak route near Dorset directed us to it. It's the only one of its kind in the province, despite there being thousands of them in the 1800s, used by the logging industry to carry timbers over a sometimes difficult terrain. The Hawk Lake Log Chute was rebuilt by volunteers in 2005, and it's the kind of community project I really admire. The top of the chute is a solid mass of concrete that stands like the walls of a garrison, but holding back water is only a part of its job. By means of a sizable cavity in its center, it also allows water through. Its flow is controlled by large timbers, like these. They're called stop logs. They get lowered by this winch system, and the more timbers you use, the less water gets through. The water that does get through flows into this, a recreation of the log chute that was originally installed here in 1861. Nine volunteers built it in nine days after the community raised funds. I love that like the original, it leaks like a sieve, and that no one had the great idea of trying to make it better than the original. What was a creation of industry is now a great place to visit and explore, and to enjoy what a community can do when they work together. This is a great piece of history. If you're ever in the vicinity of Stanhope, Ontario, it's totally worth checking out.